I have the Samsung Galaxy S23 here. And in today's video, I want to show you a number of different troubleshooting steps that you can follow to try and fix any Bluetooth pairing or playback issues that you may be experiencing. Whether you're having trouble with pairing a Bluetooth device or with playback on the Galaxy S23, Galaxy S23 Plus, or Galaxy S23 Ultra, then I want to help you fix them. Bluetooth in Android has a history of being buggy, but just like all software bugs, this can normally be fixed fairly easily. It had gotten so bad on Android that a team at Google worked for years to develop a new Bluetooth stack for the operating system, and that is currently being used on your Galaxy S23 series right now. But this new software isn't able to fix all Bluetooth related bugs that people are experiencing. And there are still a number of reports of folks who cannot pair their headset or speaker to the Galaxy S23. So, so let me walk you through a number of things that we can do in an attempt to fix this issue. The first thing that I have to suggest may seem too simple. I know that even I would normally brush something like this off, but I have seen hundreds of people reply to my videos here to tell me that this simple suggestion fixed their Bluetooth troubles. So if you're having pairing issues or you are experiencing some playback problems, then the first thing that I need to suggest is that you restart your Galaxy S23. We can do this by bringing up the power menu and then selecting the green restart button twice. Android can get buggy at times if the operating system is not restarted frequently. And even if you know that you've rebooted the phone since you began having troubles with Bluetooth, it's worth trying because of how easy and non-destructive this suggestion is. It only takes a minute or two at most, and then you can test things again immediately when the phone boots back up. If that wasn't able to fix your Bluetooth pairing or playback issues with the Galaxy S23 Plus, then the next step that I can recommend is that you reset your network settings. It doesn't sound like Bluetooth would be part of the network, but this feature on Android will erase all data pertaining to your Wi-Fi connection, your mobile data connection, and your Bluetooth stack. We can find this option by first opening up the settings application and then scrolling down until you see the general management option. From here, we're gonna scroll down again and select the reset menu. And you should see a reset network settings feature right here. Now all we have to do is tap the blue reset settings button. And after performing this troubleshooting step, your mobile data connection will cut out, but it should reconnect fairly quickly. This will also delete any saved Wi-Fi networks that you have on the device as well as any paired Bluetooth devices. So just be aware that you will have to enter in those Wi-Fi passwords again, and you will need to add those Bluetooth devices again. Another way to troubleshoot Bluetooth and help figure out what is causing these connection issues is by booting the Galaxy S23 Ultra into safe mode. Now I have talked about how this is done in a separate video, so instead of making this one longer than it needs to be, I'll link to that dedicated guide in the video description below. The idea here is that there could be some third-party applications or games conflicting with the Bluetooth service. So instead of doing a factory data reset, and instead of uninstalling or disabling all of these third-party apps and games individually, we can simply boot the device into safe mode 
and then test our Bluetooth connection while we are in safe mode. If you've noticed that Bluetooth is working perfectly while you are in safe mode, then you know the issue lies with one of your third-party apps or games, and then you can begin working through to find out which one is causing the issue. We used to be able to wipe the app cache and data of the Bluetooth system application, but since Android 12, this is no longer possible. However, there are still two other Bluetooth related system apps that we can do this for. So if you're still experiencing this bug, then let's open up the settings application and then scroll down a little bit so that you can tap on the apps option. From here, tap this filter and sort button right here and then enable the show system apps toggle before tapping on OK. This will reveal a lot more apps in this list than you're used to seeing. And we can begin scrolling through this list until we find the Bluetooth agent and Bluetooth MIDI service apps. So first let's tap on Bluetooth agent and then select storage. And now we're going to clear the cache before clearing data. With that done with the Bluetooth agent app, we can go back, select the Bluetooth MIDI service, again, tap on storage, and if you can, clear the cache before clearing data. Once that is done, let's reboot the Galaxy S23 again before trying to pair and play something over Bluetooth. Now, before suggesting you try to perform a factory data reset, there are some hidden Bluetooth related features tucked away in the secret developer options menu. This menu is invisible until you enable what is known as developer mode. And again, I have a dedicated video about how to enable developer mode on all Samsung Galaxy smartphones and tablets so I'll link to that in the video description below to help keep this video from going on too long. Once developer mode has been enabled, you'll find a new developer options menu at the bottom of the settings application. Now in this menu, there are dozens of features that you can tinker with, but if we scroll down a little bit, you should begin to see options related to Bluetooth. So if you're still having trouble with Bluetooth, even after all of these suggestions, then I would recommend going through these one by one and testing things after you change one of these options. For example, I would turn off this AVC block list and then test the Bluetooth device that I'm having issues with. If that didn't help, I would come back here, disable that toggle, and then I would enable the toggle for turning off A2DP hardware offload. I would then go and test my Bluetooth device to see if that fixed the issue. If it didn't, I would come back here, turn that off, and continue going through these Bluetooth features one by one, for example, tapping on the AVRCP version and changing it to 1.3 and then doing a test. Then if it still didn't fix it, I would change it to 1.4 and then 1.6. You can even change the Bluetooth audio, co audio codec to one of these options if you're still having trouble. And you can always come back to the developer options menu and change these features back to their default value 
and know that changing these are not going to break your phone in any way. If you're still having Galaxy S23 Bluetooth issues, then I'm afraid the next troubleshooting step is to perform a factory data reset. I know it sucks to erase the contents of your daily driver and set it up all over again, but other than buying a different Bluetooth device, this may be the only way to fix it. We can do this by opening up the settings application and then scrolling down to select the general management option. From here, scroll down again and tap the reset menu and then choose the factory data reset feature right here. If you need to back up your important data ahead of time, Samsung Smart Switch is a useful tool that you can use. And when you're ready to proceed, simply tap the blue reset button here and continue with the process. Your Galaxy S23 Ultra will reboot before erasing everything, and then you'll be taken back to the Android activation screen. Set your phone back up and see if you're still having Bluetooth connection troubles. If you are, then the last thing that I can recommend is that you manually flash a freshly downloaded firmware with a PC program called Odin. You don't need to unlock the bootloader to do this. You just need to download the firmware, extract the files, boot the Galaxy S23 into download mode, and then load those firmware files into Odin so that it can install that fresh copy of Android to your device. If you're not familiar with this, I will be doing a video in the future that shows you how to restore the Galaxy S23 back to a stock copy of One UI Android. There are times when the operating system is installed from the factory that a hiccup of sorts can occur. These hiccups, so to speak, can leave some random bugs within the Android file system that don't get detected during inspection. And installing a freshly downloaded copy of the firmware via Odin can fix these issues. I hope this video helped everyone who is having trouble pairing a Bluetooth device or just playing audio over Bluetooth using their Galaxy S23, Galaxy S23 Plus, or Galaxy S23 Ultra. I understand how frustrating it can be to spend hundreds of dollars on a new smartphone and then run into issues with simple tasks like using Bluetooth. If you're still having trouble with this, then leave a comment down below and let me know the version of Android that you have installed on your device. It will also help to share the brand name and the model of the Bluetooth device that you're experiencing this bug with. Doing so could help us discover a pattern by sharing this type of information with the community.